What's up, everybody? I'm Sniggenhoff, and we are back once again playing EU4 as Russia. On the last episode, we declared war once again on the Livonian Order, and here in just a second, we're going to be taking a lot of land off them. A lot of land. But it's fine, we're going to give it to a bunch of vassals. Or client states, maybe. But vassals are more fun. Client states are just boring. Sure, they're efficient. I can't get the uh, peace deal I want, though, until... We get a fort near Osterboten, which I guess is going to be Halsingland. Housing Hal Halsingland. Um, actually, I don't want to do that because I'm about to give those provinces away. On fifty seven percent. There we go. Really, you gave me that? I would think you would want that. Okay, good. Now you're now you're willing to do it. Maybe I should just make client states. Or maybe I should just core it myself. 354 to core. Okay, I need to, first of all, because we're at 122% overextension. Need to give some provinces to Kiev. Uh, Podolia. Uh, Rome. Vol Volhynia. Pinsk. Brest. Heyo. Um, Grodno. Vilna. And Braslaw. And then... Maybe I should make a client state. I have to remember how to make client states. Make it here. Monarchy, my dynasty. Can I make it stand out a little bit more for myself? Grant province. Revol. Narva. Pat. This might be too much overextension for them to take on, to be honest. Live land. Coldingen. Mittau. To 88. Can't give him Riga. Can give him Wenden. Can give him Latgalia. Alright, I guess I'm coring Riga then. And I can take all the techs a uh, year early, even with the. Um, even with the huge amount of coring I just did. You guys spread out. Maybe black flag. Doesn't look like it. Have a little bit of unrest problems, but that might be solved here in a second. Secure Western Siberia. 
or improve relations with Osul. Actually, do that. Um, you know what? You're Tretsky, but you're Rurikov. So I'm gonna have to integrate you before I can get that achievement now too. Because I didn't think about that. Should not have made them my dynasty. Um, and why am I losing money? Well, I mean, I am paying for all the stuff right now, to be fair. Turn this fort on, this fort on, this fort on, that fort on. Brandenburg is attacking Bohemia. Well, I will accept. I don't think you need my help, though. Alright. Um, alright. Care. Okay, go ahead and unpause. Go ahead and unpause. K K carry. Okay, so this is gonna be Chagatai. The Enlightenment. We did not get it. This changes everything though. Where did it spawn? It spawned in freaking Italy. Italy gets all the cool stuff. We have a few universities out here, should allow it to grow, and we are capped on Diplo points, which we should remedy. Uh, what was, what's been my choose recent method of getting rid of Diplo points? Um, well, probably just taking tech is a good a good Diplo point dump, and an extra five states to go along with it. Anything good? 14 development? Not really. When can I integrate these guys? Oh, we can do it really quick. Um, improve relations with Ming. Come back from Commonwealth. Not sure we'll actually be able to get there. Eh, it looks like we can. Political crisis. Um, 25 legitimacy. I have a spare stab. Don't love using it, but I have a spare one. Well, you know what that means. Stop paying for troops. Stop paying for forts. Except for this fort. This fort. This fort. And this fort. So, okay, I've almost eliminated the Commonwealth, right? Then what's going to be my path to get to Rome? The population there. We could go through the Balkans. We could no CB Naples. Angara is self-sustaining. Fantastic. That gets us this one. And this one. Russian claims in the east. In 1552, Tsar Ivan IV, the Terrible, had launched an expedition against the Khanate of Kazan, east of Nizhny Novgorod, and a blocking point on the Volga. The use of heavy bombard guns breached the walls of the Tartar city, 
which was promptly overwhelmed and annexed. In 1556, in the wake of his success against Kazan four years earlier, Tsar Ivan IV the Terrible launched a new expedition against the continent of Astrakhan, southward down the Volga. The capture of Astra Astrakhan opened an access to the Caspian Sea and put the whole Volga basin under Russian control. Cities like Samara, Saratov, and Tsaritsyn founded along the river to ensure proper control. Uh, it all belongs to Mother Russia. We gain a claim on the Ural region, which I think... Uh, maybe we, maybe it's... No, that was claims already made. Fox Kala have doomsday upon them. Yeah, we've already got the Ural region. Oh, wait, not the region. We still already have most of it. All of it. All of it. Wurttemberg is out. We can support the Oprachina. Which looks like it'd be a fair thing to do right now. A fine thing to do right now. against Cusco. You know what? They would be better off in our empire. But uh, they're going to have to wait possibly indefinitely. I should build some more buildings. Probably marketplaces. Especially that one. So when can I fight the Commonwealth again? 1713. 12 years from now. When can I start annexing you? Whenever I want to, really. Do I want to start annexing you? Well, we're at war. To be fair. Conquer Narum, secure Western Siberia, and accumulate money. That should be easy enough. Go ahead and come back from here as well. Let's have both you guys improve with outrage countries. Finnish separatists are a little mad. Poor government policies. Uh, changes of policies when poorly timed and made were often wrongly perceived by the people of the time beyond their actual efficiency as proof of the government's ill will and lack of interest in the welfare of the realm. Attempt to ignore the situation. Saiyan this one. Bunch of cores just finished. Trier just got pieced out. So again, so go ahead and come down to St. Petersburg. It's probably a better spot for you. Demands for representation. Big promises. Sure. I will think about that at some point. I promise. Thirty-three, Finland. Now that's more like it. I can now reform the Subednik. Go ahead and do it. And both the clergy and the nobility want a hair bit more because they're greedy. Perfect. Finish up, you're just still mad, huh? Still mad.
Report for the war. Deus Vaults. That is a 5-6. That's a lot of numbers. Declining power of the boyars. Go. Let's see how fast we smash these guys. It went quick. It went quick. Um, a bunch of stuff. Not getting any favors out of Brandenburg, which is fair. There's no reason for them to give us any favors. But listen, it's just like... I couldn't get across the Commonwealth. There's a wall blocking me. I can't get... It wouldn't give me military access. It's not my fault. Yeah, I might as well enter in a royal marriage with these guys. Have a new queen. Livonia with one out of four... 24 uh, that would be Riga and the states want more control one estate in particular did I tell you to go away? I don't think I did there we go Just let me know when I can annex these guys, because I want to do it as fast as I can. Russia uh, and Ottomans have rivaled me, officially. Friends in need. Uh, yeah. Seventeen oh nine. Six six more years. Seventeen thirteen. Ten more years. I'll probably keep Kiev around for a little while longer. As long as they don't become Rurikov. Wonder if I can take the rest of the Commonwealth in one more war. It's a good question. One that probably has an answer. And you know actually has an answer that I can look up. Total war score cost for all of Commonwealth Province is 134%. But... Okay, hold on. Did I just... Did I have a... No, I didn't have anything fire. Seizing power? Certainly not. This is simply a normal assumption of the executive office, as laid out in Form 32B on the administration of the Kingdom in White Paper 4853D on the transfer of power under certain circumstances as modified by Protective Clauses 3, 8, and 12B, Law 48, 9, and Edict 3W4. What is there not to understand? Your Majesty has signed all of them. So I can lose 100 admin and lose one stability, or we can become a bureaucratic, bureaucratic despotism. We would lose Ivan the Seventh. No, I have to stay Rurikov. I don't know if that would make Yuri Rurikovich uh, kill them all. Not gonna risk that. Not gonna risk it. Not enough biscuits. Um, also, unappoint these really good generals, please. Thank you. And you have nothing to do. I could start annexing you if I wanted to. But I probably won't wait till I annex Ocel. Ooh, Chagatai's... Ming is fighting Chagatai? Ooh, could I declare war on them? 
Ooh, I could. Boys, time to ride east. Time to grab us some land. Go ahead and pay the troops. What is this war over? Doesn't tell me. I need to clear this war before Ming just uh, makes them into a protect uh, tributary. House of Rurikov is shaken. Thirteen colonies. Declaration of American Independence. Thomas Paine, the English-American political act activist, uh, author, political theorist, and revolutionary who inspired the patriots to declare independence from Britain, argued in the first edition of Common Sense that USA needed a formal declaration of American independence. Without a declaration of independence, USA is considered outlaws by the European nations, rebels against the legitimate, legitimate monarch, and to transform us into a le legitimate nation, we need international recognition for our cause and foreign allies to support it. The Declaration of Independence is a statement that announces that the 13 states regard themselves as independent states and no longer part of the British Empire. Way to go, USA! USA! Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, House of Rurikov is shaken. Let's go ahead and lose the legitimacy. New trade good. They are at war, although, and they're currently winning the war, although Great Britain seems to be kind of trashing them. Let's hope, let's hope that they can do it. I believe. I believe that. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Establish penal colony in Urkstuck. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Set it up. Ottomans are claiming stuff. No, speaking of the Ottomans, speaking of France, and speaking of militaries in general, how does mine stack up? Total. We are actually third behind the Ottomans and Ming. Jeez. Same with force limit. They have so much force limit. But, you know what? We're going to call it an episode right there. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. How much land do you think I'll be able to take off Chagatai? I hope it's a lot. I hope it's a lot, a lot. But, anyways, once again, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.